Peggy 3. I think there was a lot of limitations in our old collision system. It was very good, but it didn't allow us to do some things that were quite difficult. So a lot of times in FIFA 11, you'd get a situation where maybe two players are running into one another, and because there's a lot of contacts between those two players, with the old system, we had to pick one contact, which meant that we'd get a, a collision animation that did a great job of showing you that there was a collision, something happened, but maybe didn't take into account every little detail. With this year's engine, what you see is when those two players come together, we're resolving for every single collision that happens, uh, and we're really able to preserve the momentum uh, a lot better in the interactions between players. This looks fantastic when you get into the replay camera and you see all of the, the, the limbs and the parts bending and contorting as you would expect them to, like you would see on real-world TV. But it also translates into the telecam, uh, where you really feel the difference of the game and you really feel that preservation of momentum. Another benefit that we get is we resolve a lot of our cl clipping issues in the game this year. Um, in last year's system, we didn't actually account for arm collisions at all. And you couldn't really tell in, in, in the telecam, but if you went into replay, you would notice uh, that arms could sometimes clip through a shoulder or clip through a black back of, of your opponents. Well, this year we're resolving every single collision on every single limb of the players when they interact, and the results are quite astounding. One, you don't actually get the level of clipping that you got in last year's game, but two, you get tons of variety. Uh, you don't get these robotic animations in, in jostling and shielding. You get more of a tussle between the players and a fight for possession that feels more realistic, feels like things that you might see on TV. To illustrate the point about the variety we get, I want to talk about contextual dribble turns. And what this is, is using the left stick, you could beat a player last year by maybe taking just a 45 degree dribble turn. But Sometimes when you would do that, maybe you'd knock the ball by him and that player would stick out a leg trying to tackle you or really be in the way of where you're trying to go after the ball has passed him. So when you add this year's engine on top of the contextual dribble turns, what you get is realistic behaviors, realistic things that you would see on television happening in the game. Like for instance, a player knocking the ball by a defender, he sticks out a leg to tackle and the dribbler tries to jump out of the way, but he gets caught and he goes down. But the way he's trying to jump out of the tackle and the way that his legs bend because he's been caught, it creates another level of variety that we just wouldn't have had in the game last year. Further to that, what you can see now is sometimes a dribbler will knock the ball by a defender using one of these dribble turns, jump out of the way and gets caught, but just slightly. So he takes a small knock. And what you get is a little bit more of resilience from the player to take those small knocks and able to continue on and go after the ball. Now players like Messi can skip through those challenges, take a knock, bounce off of a tackle, and still continue on to, to really pursue the ball and continue the flow of the game. And it makes for a much more exciting experience, especially when you're on the ball with those good dribblers.